Welcome back. Lovely to see you here. Today we're going to work through, essentially, for all of those that are trying to figure out how can I take my little typographic poster design and just mash it with something I've created on Blender. May that be any movie file or anything like that. You're going to get the cheat codes to the city today. The programs we're going to be using will be a little bit of Figma. I, preferably, we're rocking the open source train. Then Blender, of course. And then I'm going to show you two ways to bring the two together. One very simple way within Photoshop, which is not open source, but I'm sure plenty of you <laughs> know a way to get it or two. And if not, if you want to keep things specifically legal, I'll show you with a program called DaVinci Resolve, which is open source as well, I believe. So without ado, let's dive right on in to Blender. So if you're in Blender, uh, this is shout out to Ducky3D's uh, little design. Essentially, once you render it, so what I like to do uh, to get things running, simply you're going to render your animation. You know the typical uh, output settings and whatnot. And once you have that, we're going to dive straight on in to Figma. Now, I set up some stuff. I'll link this as well so you can have like a little bit of like a test layout to do. So this is a 1080, uh, 1080 by 1920. Now, what I like to do is render out a still image. And then from there, I like to design around that just before I have that um, motion design. So what you'll do, once you have all your elements kind of laid out, what you're going to want to do on Figma is select everything. So the way you can do that is just click things, hold shift, just keep holding shift and click all the elements besides the background. You're going to go ahead and create a group, which is control G or command G, depending if you're on a Mac or PC. And then from there, you're going to make that group into an artboard. So that'll be command alt G or control alt G, which will create a frame. Now, once you have a frame, you're going to want to go ahead and hold control and just drag that frame to the edges of everything. So we're essentially just going to be taking up the entire playhouse here, the entire workspace. Now, once that frame is set up, you name it whatever you want. I typically sometimes call it template or whatever. Make sure you click export, 2x, PNG. Once you click export, put it somewhere where it's nice and safe. And once you have that, now we both have our. <coughs> I'm going to show you something. <clears throat> now we both have our <clears throat> our MP3, MP4 file right here. And then we also want to make sure we have our exportable frame. You can see it's a PNG. It's transparent. Okay. Moving on to Photoshop. Now Let's go ahead and just delete what I did. Show you in Photoshop. Simple as this. Um, your timeline is probably going to be closed, so I'm just going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to go over to Window. Scroll all the way down to Timeline. Open up a timeline. Now what you're going to do is open up your File Explorer. Take your finished video file. So it's my little geometry waves. I'm going to take a compressed version. So enter and you're going to come in and you're going to also want to grab your exportable frame and the reason why we made our frame <clears throat> the exact size is so you don't have to handle that padding you don't have to handle any sort of that extra detail that you had to set up now when you want to pay attention on the timeline typically sometimes it'll just like not go the entire frame your entire animation I'm going to drag that out and once you click play, you'll see it's going to be a little bit wonky, but we have something going on here. Now, <clears throat> come over to File, Export, Render Video. And you're going to go ahead and just select the folder, give it a name. Everything 
in terms of your video settings should just transfer on over. You shouldn't have to even like finagle with this stuff. Just give it a file. Uh, you can give it any name, but I already have mine. So once you click render, you'll have a finished version of that. Cool. Now let's hop over to DaVinci Resolve. Now, uh, once you're here in DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to go ahead and just go on Tutorials, create a new project. I'm going to call it Tutorial. I haven't used the program in a bit for my stuff, but I know it's free. Anyone can use it. Skip any updates for you. It'll probably be uh, freshly installed, so you won't have to do any of that. <clears throat> Keep it very simple here. First things first, you want to do your finished like video and it will either ask you to like change the composition or whatever if it's like not 60 fps make sure you select yes and you want to change it to match your video so it looks really nice um and it's as simple as any other video editing program take your text drag it and you can see we have something going on here And that's practically it. Once you individually resolve, you're going to do a quick export and then just click that and you'll have your finished project. Okay, that was a bit short and sweet, but like always, if you have any questions or anything, if there's a program you want me to check out to help you out, I'm more than happy to give it a little bit of my time. So thank you per usual. I'm a bit of a newer YouTuber around these blocks. I'm not an expert in Blender, but your support matters a lot it's pretty cool to know that i'm putting stuff out in the world and it's making sense for people so i'll catch you around and thanks for following me in this journey